Okay, here we are at um, user call, which allows you to conduct AI interviews, one-to-one -one voice calls with countless users at scale. So this is supposed to replace a traditional surveys. So let's click on the live demo, click start. Hi, I'm Amy, an AI researcher trying to understand your needs around your use of user call. How has your experience been so far? Um, I'm just getting started. Great to hear you're just getting started. Can you share what initially interested you in using user calls AI moderated voice interview tool? Well, I think because of the novelty of it, that if I were to use it to replace um, a typical survey that I might email to my large subscriber base, I might have a better return on people who actually participate in the survey, especially because it's a lot easier it's easier to talk rather than type. So I feel like it would be number one, more fun for them. Number two, just easier. Interesting. So you're looking for a way to increase participation in your surveys and make the process more enjoyable for your subscribers. Can you tell me more about your role and the biggest challenges you face around gathering user insights? I'm the founder of a company that creates information products, but I don't really have any challenges per se. Anytime I've ever... Anytime I've ever sent out a survey, I've gotten pretty good results. It's always been worth the effort. Um, but again, the number, you know, based on how large my subscriber base is, it's really only a small percentage of people who respond. I'm also thinking that user call, since you're based in AI, would be able to um, uh, analyze the data from the surveys, which would be super helpful. Thanks for sharing that. It sounds like you're seeking more engagement and efficient data analysis. Can you tell me about a specific recent experience where you felt the response rate or data analysis from your surveys could have been improved? Uh, no, not really. What I'd like to know now is um, once we're done, you and I are done chatting, um, what do you send as follow-up to like, yeah, what do you, what do you, I guess the person who is doing scheduling the interview. So for example, if I use this tool to send it out to my user base, um, after the person completes the interview, what do I receive afterwards from you? Thanks for your question. After an interview is completed using user calls tool, you would typically receive a detailed summary of the conversation including key insights and data points extracted by the AI. This can help you quickly understand the trends and sentiments expressed by your users. Do you have any specific expectations or concerns about how this follow-up information is presented? No, but um, I'm wondering, but I'm also thinking that this would be a great way to capture testimonials. So is there language or can you insert language uh, ahead of the survey or maybe after the survey where the uh, person completing the survey grants permission for you to use their voice in uh, in a audio audio testimonial. That's a great idea. Using the tool to capture testimonials could be very effective. Typically, you can customize the introduction or conclusion of the interview to include consent language. This way, participants can grant permission for their voice to be used in audio testimonials. Does that address your need or do you have any other concerns or questions about this process? Yeah. So when you send the follow-up of the responses from the participants in the survey, do you also include their audio answers or just a transcript? Good question. Usually the follow-up includes both the transcript and the audio recordings of the responses. This allows you to review the participants' exact words and their tone which can be useful for testimonials and deeper insights. Does having both the transcript and audio meet your needs? Yeah, but one last question, um, and that is, can the AI voice be, can I use a clone of my voice for the AI voice in the survey? That's a valuable question. Some AI tools do offer voice cloning capabilities where you can use a clone of your own voice for the AI moderator. You would need to check if user call specifically supports this feature. Would having a clone of your voice as the AI moderator be better? Okay, um, that was pretty much it.